In today's video, we are going to be breaking down Shaden Sharp and Jaden Ivey. These are two rookies this year in the NBA, and we're going to see who really is the better player out of the two at this point in time. Let's get down. Let's check out these two players. If you're looking to shoot the basketball better, make sure to go check out my hardest basketball shooting workout down in the description below. First off, let's get the positions right. Jaden Ivey is a really good point guard, while... Shaden Sharp is a guard slash small forward. They do have two different play styles as we, see, we can see here. Shaden Sharp is a very good finisher around the rim. While Jaden Ivey, he attacks the rim, but he basically collects defenders. He gets that double team and then he kicks that ball out to the corner or to the wing for three point shots as we can see here. Jaden Ivey is also very good on defense, able to get into the passing lanes and pick off passes of players who are cutting along the baseline. And then he's able to transition into offense, as we can see here, and can still finish at the rim like Shaden Sharp. Jaden Ivey, however, also has a very good shot, as we can see here. Jaden Ivey, however, is a guard, but doesn't have to handle the ball entire time and can play off ball, off of screen and rolls and dribble handoffs to get to the rim. If you're a guard or a player who is using a lot of dribble handoffs and you receive that ball, what you need to do is if your defender goes over top of the screen, Jaden Ivey, here, he attacks the paint hard. And that's what you need to do. If your defender goes over top of the screen, you need to attack the rim hard to make sure that you keep that defender behind you. You need to try and get your shoulder in front of their shoulder so that you can have that angle to the basket. Here, he collects multiple player's attention but he's still able to keep that ball high and finish at the rim the whole key here is to keep that ball extremely high he's also very good at ball movement here we can see a pass from the corner to the wing to Jaden Ivey on the other wing he has a defender who closes out but the first thing he thinks of is passing to the far corner because when you're swinging the ball from one side to the other you should have an open shot from that corner and that's what he reads right away and he's able to get that pass to that player. Did I mention that he has a really good shot? He is actually very open to shooting in transition. Some coaches dislike that, other coaches do not. But if you can hit them then why not? Meanwhile, Shaden Sharp is really good at playing off ball. He's able to cut baseline here against the Warriors, and he's able to get a massive dunk off of that cut. He's able to do this because if you look at the defenders, they're all paying attention to the player who has the ball. Anytime that happens and you are on the weak side, what you need to do is to cut back door. And if you've got a guard or a ball handler who is a good enough passer who can see you and has the court vision to see you cutting baseline, you can get some nice baskets. Here he's coming off of a screen and you can see why really quickly you would want to pull back for a three point shot. His man went underneath the screen. So in, in theory, you would want Shaden Sharp to pull back and to jack a three-point shot, but he has the strength to get to that rim, and there's actually a quick move that he did here that allowed him to get that angle, and that was when he got that ball, he attacked and then drill, took a quick sidestep out. That got this defender playing a bit too high, which opened up that lane for Shaden Sharp to attack one dribble, and he was able to finish at the rim. Here he attacks off of a screen. He couldn't get position in front of this defender, so he didn't have the angle to the rim. However, what he did do right here is this defender's shoulders are pointing towards the sideline. That's the direction that where he was going. Whenever a player is no longer square with you with their shoulders, you want to pull back. That's going to create space between you and him, and if you take that extra quick step by keeping your hand on top of the ball. That's the key right here. So he did that snatch back. He kept his hand on top of the ball, pushed off, and then he went left, right. That's one, two. You're allowed two steps. And he went for that shot and he was able to make it. But this was only possible because as soon as he recognized that his defender's shoulders are pointing towards the sideline and most likely well past his feet, he was able to snatch back, take a quick step back, and there was a lot of space between himself and the defender. He's able to get that shot up quickly because he went back towards that left side, which gets his right side in line with the rim. And because of that, he was able to get that shot. 
Here he gets that screen and that pass, and now his man is playing well underneath that screen. The first thing that he does is he takes a dribble back thinking like, oh, maybe this guy's going to go back underneath that screen. Maybe I can jack a three. But what we see here is as soon as that man goes over top, he attacks. Because if a man goes over your screen, you need to attack the basket. And that's what he does here. He does a quick hop gives it time to make the defender think that he could be passing to the roll man and when in reality he skies up for the jump shot this is what would be going through his mind at this time which is guy's gonna go through or underneath the screen he didn't i need a split i need to attack once i'm attacking i'm keeping my head up looking at my roll man and of course seeing what my defender is doing if my defender goes for the pass then i go for the shot if he goes for the shot i go for the pass and of course Shaden Sharp went for the shot. How I like to explain it to players is if you've ever done computer coding before, there's a theory called or a theme called if this then that, which is if the defender does this, you do that. Defender goes over top, you attack. Defender goes for the pass, you shoot. Defender goes for the shot, you pass. That's if this then that, and that's how you can really destroy defenders in basketball. Between the two players, I am going to personally say that while, uh, while Jay Nivey is a fantastic player, Shaden Sharp is a more athletic player when it comes to dunks and cutting off ball. Both players are super athletic. However, I personally decide, maybe because I'm Canadian, that Shaden Sharp is going to have a better career because he is a bit younger than Jaden Ivey. That is my, that's my theory anyways, which is if you're a younger player and you're just as good as another player, you will potentially be probably better than them. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe, make sure to go check out my hardest basketball shooting workout down in the description below, and I'll see you guys again next time.